Have you ever thought about just how many things you touch during an average day? Well, we're not trying to gross you out. But when it comes to spreading germs in flu season, yeah. that is now considered an epidemic. It's worth considering. Yes. Valley News <laughs> Team's Lisa Badeau shows us at least one reason for why the flu is so easily spread. To show you just how fast germs can spread around a workplace, we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to put glow germ powder on my hands and then go about my day. Later, we'll use a black light to see exactly everything I've touched. With that, I started my day. It's 4 a.m. My TV gig requires a lot of typing, prepping in front of the mirror, and drinking a lot of coffee. I never thought much about what I was touching or spreading in our newsroom. Sanford Health's Dr. Michael Corbett says most people don't realize how fast things can spread, especially when people are working in close quarters. It's no surprise that things spread. If you're in a workplace, you know that someone falls sick and then within a week or two, the bug goes around, so to speak, and uh, everyone eventually catches the bug. Now let's find out everything that I touched to see just how much the germs spread. This black light will help everything light up. Our newsroom glowed. Keyboards, doors, a whole makeup bag full of products, and that high traffic area where the coffee pot is. Just think about how many people touched that same coffee pot throughout the morning. And the glow powder was also all over me. We are not aware, for example, of how often we touch our own face, eyes, nose, mouth, um, what surfaces we touch and how often, what our habits are. Doctors say the Glow Germ Kit is a great eye-opener for people. It shows us how many things we touch and how important it is to wash our hands. Lisa Badeau, Valley News Live. Now here's some more advice on how to avoid getting or spreading the flu bug. Get the flu shot immediately. Keep your distance from infected people. See a doctor ASAP if you're at risk for complications. If you are sick, stay at home and cough into your sleeve.